I don't know, man. Maybe it's because San Diego, but yeah. we did a, a G wagon earlier. Yes. And you charge two hundred and fifty dollars for a maintenance. What's up, everybody? Thank you for coming to another detailing video on my main channel. And today we have a great story. You got the homie Matt with Detail Effect here in San Diego, California. That's right. I'm gonna lot of San Diego detailers, and I just spent all day with Matt making some reels for his business. Mm -hmm. But in today's video, you're gonna see how this. How old are you, man? I'm 21. 21 year old. Became a full-time detailer. The struggle he went through starting this, and of course, how he gets business. So, if you want to be motivated and you want to grow your detailing business, stick around. You ready, Matt? I'm ready. Let's get into it. When did you start this business? I started one year ago. And what made you want to start detailing? Um, you know, I was watching your videos actually, and I got inspired by a lot of people that we're making money detailing and I was working at a car rental company and we had cars come in every single day and we had guys that cleaned cars but they weren't getting paid as much as a detailer would. So I started thinking, how can I turn this into a business and start making money from doing something that I like? And I just developed a passion for detailing while just doing a couple of my family's vehicles. And then when I realized that I could make money doing it especially more than my nine to five i was like let's let's go you know what was your first investment do you remember yeah my first investment was a vacuum <laughs> it was the uh rigid? It was the bigger richard yeah, yeah yeah so i got that from marketplace and that was essentially my first investment and then next was obviously like the steamer the chemicals and just the basics to you know get the car looking clean again so Matt, who was your first customer? Man, my first customer was probably my cousin. We did his Porsche. And then from there, I just started reaching out to people on Instagram or posting. Um, but those were kind of my first customers were just like family members and things like that. You had a day job at this point. Yeah, so I was working full time at the car rental company. And once I started getting busier as a detailer, uh, they wouldn't let me get part-time, so that's when I decided to go and be a full-time detailer. It must have been scary, bro, making that jump. Yeah. What were some of your early struggles? Right, it was scary making that jump because when I left my 9-to-5 job, I was thinking, like, man, am I going to make money this month? But the early struggles were just finding out the right marketing form. But honestly, once I got the hang of it right away, uh, we got busy and I wasn't worrying much. Sometimes in the beginning of the month, you might be like, you know, is this month gonna be busy? But if you are retaining your clients and you do good work, you're going to stay busy. What's one thing you learned the hard way about detailing? The one thing that I learned the hard way in the detailing business is buy nice or buy twice. So what I mean by that is, if you're cheaping out on chemicals or towels or the soap, it's going to show in your work and especially like in the equipment. Um, I spent a lot of money trying to find the, the, the products that work. Um, I guess it is part of the research process, but um, if I can you know, give advice to anybody out there starting a detail business is to just not waste your money on the best products or the best equipment because it's just something that you're not going to need. I don't know, man. Maybe it's because San Diego, but yeah. we did a, a G-Wagon earlier. Yes. And you charge $250 for a maintenance. So is that the average price? Less or more? So because we're out here in sunny San Diego, I'm not going to under quote myself and charge less than what my service is actually worth because over here, you know, a haircut can cost $60. So if I'm going in and restoring your car, you know, deep, deep cleaning the wheels, decontaminating the paint and getting the carpets and the seats look like brand new again, I think it's definitely worth it if we're charging $200 and up. And I think a lot of detailers need to realize their worth because we're out there, it's sunny, and people think that our job is easy but it's not. 
and we have to charge accordingly. If you're in a position right now to where you think that you should be charging more, I highly suggest just, just raising your prices. Because listen, when I was charging 130 bucks, people were paying. And then I started charging 200 bucks, people were paying. And then now my full detail is at $450 for an inside and out job. So the real question is, is not about if it's worth it, it's about how you present yourself as a business and to the customers that you're targeting. You still get people lowballing you? Like 250? You do, you do. But the thing is how we run our ads, like I told you earlier, is we only target people with higher spending power, people that are in the top 5% of income makers. So we're not getting like older vehicles, we're getting newer ones, which means people with more money. And that allows us to book more ceramic coating jobs because you know, what does a person do when they get a brand new vehicle is they want to protect it with a ceramic coating. So that's who we target. And that's why we don't charge a hundred bucks for a full detail because that's not who we're going after. So. Now you brought up the marketing. Tell us what you use to target those customers. All right. So when it comes to marketing, I run the entire marketing side of things, me and my brother. Uh, we have a huge marketing background. Um, we know how to run our Facebook and Instagram ads. So a lot of people, they run those type of ads, but they don't really make them very specific. So they ended up paying for $15 a lead, $20 a lead, and that's not what we do. We run our ad to where it's engaging, there's videos, there's service being shown, um, there's captions on the videos. So they're very, very engaging. And when you have an engaging ad, Facebook and Instagram will push it up and then your cost per lead becomes less, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, you guys can hit me up to get your marketing situated. And also what we do on the back end is we have a whole software that runs the entire business. So you're set from your scheduling, your, your clients, all being in one place. And Reyes, I think a lot of business owners need that kind of structure or else they're not gonna grow. Now you're talking about the software. Yeah. What other things does it provide? So the software. So our software is called Kenji CRM. And what Kenji does is basically, it's an all-in-one system to run your entire business professionally and organized. So all of the leads that you get from your Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok ads come in through the pipeline. And that way you have a list of people that you can contact with, you know, that's why in the, in the winter, I do not get slow because when it is slow, or let's say we're not running the ad, I will just go ahead and, and send out a text blast to the whole entire list. And then that's what books in for the whole month. So sometimes we don't have to run ads because we have people to always retarget. And I think that's what a lot of detailers need. They need a system to where they follow up with people. And, you know, we have AI agents that send out a blast to you know a mass amount of people and you know in general you have to include you know ai it's the new thing by the way you have to include ai in your system so that you can always retarget those customers and have your business running smoothly for example you know like the customers that we detail today um once i mark their appointment as showed they're gonna get another message a month from now saying, hey, how's the car doing? Are you looking to get it maintained anytime soon? So with that message, with that automated message going out, it's gonna book you that customer again. And we don't just have that um, for when customers get booked. We have it when you know the customer opts in into the ad, they get that message saying, hey, I realized you just had interest in getting your car detailed. What's the vehicle in here? Then you could send them a quote and then book the job and then, you know, with their confirmation and everything like that. So in general, you're making everything legit. You're making the consumer experience better. And I think that's the important thing people need to realize. There you guys go. That might be the missing key for your detailing business. To grow, to grow, for real. Now, Matt, people want to check it out. Where can they go? All right, guys. So if you are interested in 
you know, getting this software for you and for your business, um, you know, you guys can check out my Instagram at detail.effect and send me a message over there. All right now, if you guys want more information, check out the links in the description because all his information. <laughs> what to, oh, where to follow him. If you need a detail, if you want the software, all right. everything is written down below. And Matt, thank you for jumping on, dropping that free 99 knowledge on the all detailers. Right, okay. Look, last question. What's up, man? You're a youngster. Yeah. The new generation. Yeah. Somebody out there wants to start a detailing business. Mm -hmm. They got school, they got work, they don't know how to start. What's your last piece of advice for them? So to all my young people out there, you're going to have to work really hard to grow your detail business. And I say that to you not to scare you away, but to show you the reality is you see the Instagram videos, you see the cool cars, you start making money, but you have to work really hard. And that means from, you know, posting on social media, getting your ads right, you know, investing in your equipment, actually providing the service itself. And if you have a part-time job or a full-time job, or if you have schools, um, I highly suggest whenever you're free, just focus on the business. Just focus on washing a car or, you know, focus on getting the word out there so that when you do have free time, you have a car to detail or you have something to work towards because, you know, you could be lost and you don't know when to start because school is holding you back or a, a job is holding you back. So don't let it hold you back. Just find a way to manage your time. All right, guys, there you guys go. Get started. Balance it at first. Balance. So you're able to grow it into something big. But if you want more detailing content, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you for jumping on, Matt. Yeah, I got you, man.